good morning good morning good morning it's your girl um i'm <clears throat> putting this in my health and wellness um playlist but um it could pretty much go anywhere because there's no medical advice to give out <laughs> um but i mentioned to you guys that i was going to do an herb garden and all that good stuff and i wanted to show you guys what i'm working with so bear with me a second okay so this is my backyard um, I have a lot of flower beds. Um, we use the side of the fence. I have more stuff here. I mean, my landscape guys came out and they did a big cleaning for me, so um, which helps a lot. And there's still a little cleaning that needs to be done. It's mostly like old stuff from last year that's dried up um, that needs to be removed. These are my lilies. And I'm looking to see if any of them, I don't see anything coming back up, which is making me nervous because um, these are like my biggest plants and I don't see, I don't see anything. Usually I'll see like little, um, mini flowers coming through and I don't see any which is making me nervous I may have to replace these which I didn't want to do um, but they they get these actually get they're actually go like five feet up um, but I don't see any sprouts so that's making me a little nervous um, my hydrangea is coming back so I have to do a little cleaning there. But as you can see, they're starting to bud, which is awesome. Um, I have daylilies in the corner. Hopefully they come back up. My landscape guy cut them <laughs> by mistake. Um, and this is another rose bush that is starting to come back. I have to re-secure it so it doesn't spread these rose bushes tend to like spread if you don't tie them down they'll just take up all the space it can get its hands on uh so i have to clean it a little bit and then this is the new spot that i'm going to do the herb garden in now I mentioned that I had a shed here. The shed was literally falling apart. I mean, falling down, falling apart. So my landscape guys came, they took it down, they ripped everything out, and they put down some peat moss and topsoil for me. I have mulch as well, so I'm gonna put some mulch down. And this is what I'm gonna be working with. So the bricks are like an automatic border. I'm gonna clean those up a little bit and I might straighten a couple of them a little bit. That concrete, the concrete blocks, some of them are from our old fence that we had many years ago. And some of the concrete is actually from our old basement sink, it used to be a concrete sink. And when we had it replaced, the guy broke it up and we kept the, uh, the pieces. You might see some rebar sticking out so we use the pieces. Um, these are daylilies that are gonna be coming up. I'm gonna leave those alone. But this is what I'm working with. So I have a bunch of seeds. Um, I'm gonna get some dividers. And hopefully next time you guys see this, it'll be much nicer. <laughs> um, and then I have some flowers up against the fence that I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. And let's see, what else am I working with? Oh, they took that tire out. Okay, there was an old tire in the corner there and it looks like it's gone. All right. <laughs> um, and there's plenty of stuff that I can reuse, like these old iron pieces, I can make borders with them. So yeah, we, we like to recycle as much as possible. Um, this, this bad boy uh, was my old sage plant. Um, I don't know if it's going to um, if it's going to make it this year, 
I know some of it had, there was some mold for some of it. It looks like it's trying to come up a little bit. So I'm going to see what I can save um, and put that. I may move it to the herb to the uh, herb garden. Um, yeah, some of it's kind of gone, but um, I'll see what I can do. I've had this sage plant for years, and um, I would hate to lose the entire plant, but I think I'm gonna have to move it. Uh, let's see what else and then I just have some other stuff going I have another rose bush that's trying to come up I have that nasty vine I sprayed it so I have to try and pull that out and um oh this particular spot this was also a oh oh my goodness Check this out. My lilies are coming up. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lilies. I only had two last year. I'm getting six this year. Ouch. And I have a, there's another one right here. There's another one. Oh, I'm so excited now. Um, and my mini hydrangea is coming, starting to come back. My irises, these are irises, y'all. When they grow, when they get bigger and start to bloom, you'll see. Um, I'm so excited. I've got six lilies coming up. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to revamp, because this whole side, I had stuff here. It's not coming back. So I'm going to pull out these old stones and bricks. I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to put move them here so I'm going to make this square rather than round clear out whatever's on the other going to be on the other side and then I'll put some stuff I'll put some flower seeds down but um I'm so excited that the lilies I'm getting more than I had last year I'm so happy oh and I think that's another one wow two oh guys I am so excited um, my mom started doing this stuff. My mom started doing this like years ago and we used to, well, we used to spend the summers clearing stuff out and, um, redoing stuff. And, um, of course she can't do it anymore. So, um, I've kind of taken that on, but, uh, I'm I'm excited. I think I think it's gonna be good this year. And then hold on, let me show you guys. <gasps> oh, hold on. I gotta show you guys. Okay, so this was another like big spot for my lilies. And there's one big one coming up there. There's another one, so that's two. This one is that's two, three three four so I'm getting four oh five okay so I'm definitely getting five I'm getting rid of the I think the old ones can I'm gonna throw those away at some point so I have five oh no six okay that's pretty much what I had last year and then I'm just looking down the driveway to see if I have any more there we go seven this one right here whoops at seven, he almost cut it. I have to, I, oh, eight, eight. I have to tell him not to cut the, uh, tell my landscape guy not to cut the driveway anymore. Um, that's eight, eight so far. Eight, I might get a surprise. I may end up with 10 or 12. Uh, let's see what we got going on down here. Up, oh, I think I got some more here. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up with a dozen. And I'm going to tell my landscape guy, do not cut the driveway. Here we go. Here's another bunch. This nasty old. Oh, I hate that vine. Okay, here we go. We have another group of lilies here. One. One. Two. Three four, 
five, and I'm gonna get that out, six. So there's six more at least here. And another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to have a lot of lilies this year. So I'm very happy about that. So the driveway just needs a raking. And I'm going to get rid of some of these flower pots because some of them are broken. So I'm going to get rid of them and replant some stuff. My front yard's pretty set. Um, these are all day lilies that are going to come back. I have some regular lilies over here somewhere I don't see them yet but they should be coming back and then the usual stuff uh, day lilies I'm gonna put some wildflower seeds down and my hydrangea again is starting to bloom these this hydrangea used to be twice the size but it's old the hydrangea is about as old as the house so it's getting smaller but that's okay and then I have some lilies in the back over there and I'm gonna put some seeds down I got some four o'clock seeds and some other seeds that I'm gonna put down here and then last but not least at least for today I have this flower bed um, I'm going to move some of the stones in make it a little bit smaller but my irises are coming up my tulips are coming up um, I don't see as you can see my little daffodils came up but I don't see my lilies I had some miniature lilies in this spot oh, wow they really moved the rocks um, and I don't see them that's not a good sign. So I'm gonna have to get some bulbs at Home Depot and put them in. Um, but everything else is pretty much status quo as last year. Um, my hydrangeas are coming up, my daffodils, my big daffodils are definitely up. Uh, my crocuses are up, as you can see. And then I had lilies in the middle here and unfortunately I don't see any I think they got oh wait there's two there's two here but I had some in the middle and I think he accidentally cut them <laughs> but it's okay um, I'm gonna weed out some and I'm gonna put down my tulips are getting ready to come up those are my tulips right there so I'm gonna weed those down and um, put some new lilies in and he was kind enough to do uh, a little trench so I'm gonna get the divider and put a divider along there so next time they don't cut it <laughs> and hopefully the water runs out of my gutter properly and then um, we should be good for the season these stones I'm gonna move them I'm gonna move them and put them along the side here I'm gonna put them along this edge so but um, yeah man I'm I'm excited I'm excited I'm looking forward to getting out hopefully this weekend as long as we don't have any any more rain rain I can get some stuff started and I'm glad you all are following me on my little journey if you have questions questions are always welcome likes are free sharing is caring um, and we'll see how it goes um, as we build this garden <laughs> I'm very excited about it and um, I hope you guys enjoy this little journey of mine and uh, I will catch you all on the next one <laughs>